Go ahead. Hey guys, uh, Kyle and Joey here from uh, Golden Saucer Podcast on that. Uh, today we're looking at the uh, Wind Waker HD uh, Ganondorf statue edition. Uh, it was a GameStop exclusive, right? Yep. Could you get it anywhere else? Nope. Well, should have got it at GameStop when you had the chance. So we're going to do a little unboxing here, take a look at the Ganondorf statue, see if uh, it's worth the outrageous prices that it's fetching on eBay now. Yeah, I think I saw it 120 150 well, considering that, you know, it was retailing at sixty-five, right? Uh, fifty-nine ninety-nine. Sixty bucks. Yeah, so. Sixty bucks. Oh, well, here you go. You get a little look at the back of it. Oh, yeah. All right. So, <laughs> standard copy. Oh. It actually looks pretty nice. It's got some uh, some little updated uh, title card and stuff. It's pretty Ooh. nice. Oh yeah, girl. All right, now let's get to the uh, the meat and potatoes, as it were. Oh, flip this over. Flip that shit over. Look at there. All right, so that's just the box. Uh huh. Focus on the box while I open it. Okay, good. We'll turn this around. Because there's another damn thing for me to have to razor blade. Mm. It's just it's fucking tape. <laughs> there's literally tape. Oh. Uh. Oh, it's on the sides. Oh, that's... Oh, there we go. It's like... Oh, there you go. Alright, how's it going? Alright, we got... We got Ganondorf. We got a little bit of assembly to do here. So let me, uh... Oh, let me look at him. Let me assemble. Look, does he have panties? I can't tell. He doesn't have panties. Alright, so he's got little, uh... Little well, like little streamers that come off of his uh mm -hmm. his sabers, it looks like. Hopefully that fixes. That's pretty good. And then he's also, no, he does not. He's also got a base statue that we can try to coax out of here. Do, 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 do. Right. Comparison to the game box. Yeah, he's he's only about uh maybe three inches tall. This is the <laughs> size of my my hand. I'm a fairly large gentleman, but I think I said he's five inches total. Probably from the, bo from the bottom, of his face to the sword. I don't know. This is this is why five inches. This is not. <laughs> All right, whatever. So let's get him strapped in there. All uh, right. Get his, uh, his little tassels going. All right. That's kind of cool. Maybe I put him in the wrong. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's worth nothing. <laughs> I've ruined everything. Oh man! And I'm running long. Why couldn't Kyle get the stupid tassels in? There you go. That looks better. I don't know. They show that one online that has the bubble on. I kind of wish this one had a bubble. All right. There we go. You look pretty good. So there you go. Yay. Looks pretty nice. You can get a little sweeping view of it. Yeah. Looks like he's maybe doing some sort of sword flourish. Yeah. That's why the tassels can I, are... Can you, uh, can you turn the sword like a little bit? I don't know if you can see it. There's really fine little detail on the sword. Yeah, the sword's got some nice little detail on it right there on the... Maybe it just looks like some of the, uh, the hieroglyphics yeah. that they don't show on the box. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. All well, right, well... That's it for this episode. That's it. See you guys later. later.